Hi. Uh, today I'm going to take you through uh, what is called as dowsing for water. Uh, the guy you see there is my brother. Uh, he's been commissioned by this farmer to find some water. Uh, this started way back in our family when, I, when our dad found that he could find water. Um, they typically use a Y rod which is a metal or a stick. Uh, I don't know what they do, <laughs> uh, but then uh, when they find water, uh, the rod starts rotating in their hands. Uh, kind of looks like magic, but uh, they are so ac accurate in uh, uh, predicting the depth and the type of water which is present. And my brother has done about uh, uh, 6000 to 6500 water points which have all been successful and uh, uh, the saga continues so uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to just follow him uh, take you through a few things and uh, explain it to the extent that I understand and I uh, well there is also a selfish motive where I think that uh, uh, he should or his skills should benefit the world so this is one way of uh, trying to show what he does. Uh, so anyone who needs uh, his services in terms of finding water, he's the guy. Uh, I, there will be a series of cuts on these videos, but essentially uh, showing what he does. Looks like he's found a spot which has water. I'm going to request him to uh, just use the Y rod and show us how it actually looks when he's trying to find water. So that's the spot with water? Yeah. This. Okay, go ahead. Continue. Do your thing. So is it where you're standing or is it where you're showing the wire rod? It's the tip of the wire rod. Okay. So now the wire rod rotated, right? Yes. Uh, you know what? I want to do a slow motion video. Just uh, can you do that again for me, please? Okay, as you saw, he's used the Y rod and he's kind of identified where the water is present. Now he's using a pendulum, uh, using which says the type of water, the depth one has to dig to identify uh, water. Uh, it's amazing uh, the accuracy that he can predict with this uh, one. So, do you know the depth? Yeah. I've found it, it's 175 feet. 175 feet, feet. is it? And okay. And 2 inches of water will be there. So that means, is it good for uh, farming a land like this? Yeah, it's okay, but for irrigation you need at least 3 inches of water. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now you see he's got a coconut uh, and uh, it kind of uh, it's, it, it's amazing to see this in person, right? It just uh, straightens, straightens up automatically. So he he's using this to identify the source. So typically there might be a river underneath or there might be waterways underneath. He tries to find that. And the reason why he is doing that is to ensure that he does not identify a contaminated water source. I mean, it could be, uh, uh, for instance, uh, uh, drainage water passing by, flowing through and things like that. So he, he ensures that he finds the right uh, source of water and he uses a coconut for that. <laughs> 